and welcome to another episode of Travel Chef. And we are on our way to explore a new daba in the uh, in the outskirts of Bangalore. And uh, we are going. To, we are on the way to that place. So we are really. I'm really excited. And I'm also have a couple of friends who's joining me also today. So now we've got around four guys to go out for our dinner, and we are going to a place in Nilamangala. So of course, Richie is here. Hey, I'm okay. driving, guys. <laughs> yeah, let's not. And this is Bharat right behind me. Hey, hey there. And hey there. this is Jilay. We are the food experts. <laughs> yeah, new so to have uh, have new two uh, foodies in our car. And we are in search of a beautiful, beautiful place. There's a lot of reviews about this place, and I'm kind of excited uh, to go to this. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, Witty Daba. Witty Daba. Uh, uh, it's called Wit. Witty Daba. Yeah, Witty Daba. So there's a lot of good reviews about this place, and actually one of one our friends. One of the best cheap, I mean cheap and best dabas that is there around the neighborhood. So that's what. Witty's Daba is all about. I mean, uh, Dabas you find it everywhere. I mean, when it comes to the outskirts of Bangalore, but the pricing nowadays is like I mean, it's on the higher side actually when it comes to Dabas. And uh, here in uh, this is to the northern part of Bangalore. I mean, it's towards uh, Mumbai. Uh, I I think it goes towards Mumbai, right? Oh yeah. 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 So it's Tumkur. Exactly. I mean. M much better to say Tumkur Highway actually. So how far is this is from the city? In people, in case people have to go there. I think. I mean, for me, like all the way, I'm coming from Vidyalipura. It is like around 20, 21 kilometers. I think. Yeah. 21. 21 is what it shows. Okay. So it's quite a drive, but uh, you just need to. I mean, compare the traffic only for like 10 of uh, 10 kilometers, and then it's gonna be a smooth drive. Because you are almost hitting the outer ring. I mean, not outer ring road. It's more of the highway. Highway. Okay. Yeah. Super. Really excited. Okay, Jerry. Up to you, actually. Yeah. Let <laughs> yeah. Let you. I think this place also was suggested because Bharat has gone there before. I suppose. Yeah, I've, I've been there uh, a couple of months back, and it was really nice. Uh, I would say it is value for money. Now, Super. You, the amount of food they give and the, the pricing is amazing, and the taste, of course, it is good. Um, and they even serve drinks. Uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 they serve drinks. Yeah. Yeah, good. So there is a value, a proposition over here. Exactly. And uh, let's taste the food and see how is it. So wait. <laughs> Currently, we are in the Bangalore Mumbai Highway where we need to take a slight deviation and go into the service road to a place called Nilamangla. That is where the Witties Hotel is. Another two minutes to the restaurant, and the sun is a bit reduced now. Yeah. So, we are almost reaching, Jerry. We could wait. We have covered that, uh, that small road. Uh, yes. You know, there are a lot of dhabas that are put up. There, uh, in, in this road? Part of the town, yeah. Oh. Oh, there it is. Some Yay! We are reached a place. Oh, there's, there's a the, green pot dhaba. This is, the these are, stood. yeah, this is one of the landmark dhabas actually in Bangalore. Chandu, Chandu? Yeah. I think most of the Bangaloreans would know about this. Chandu can't be this place. Yeah. yeah, I think it's there's a lot of crowd actually over here. Yeah. There is, it's pretty much crowded. They've so, renovated yeah. and made now. Yeah. Left, left, left. Here we are. Finally, we have reached our place in Nelamangla and it's Witty's Daba. And uh, unfortunately, the parking was super full. So they allowed us to park our car in an Indian oil petrol bunk. If you see this, we are standing in an Indian oil petrol bunk over here. <laughs> and that's a car over there. So it's very weird. But there's a lot of crowd in this place. Lovely highway. And <laughs> it's like it was a good drive from the city.
आई थिंक वी गॉड अ रूम एंड ये सो रुचि इज फाउंड आउट आर लिटिल कोजी स्पॉट अ लिटिल रूम एंड इज कॉलिंग इज इन एंड भरत इज फाउंड आउट द लोकेशन इज मेड द टॉक with the <laughs> really good it's massive parties over oh here <laughs> absolutely you can really i think all cheap and best gaba is cheap and value for money is uh, with his job with his job super nice put <laughs> nicely put bharat <laughs> really nicely <laughs> well said well said <laughs> yeah hey you get this cozy room you have around it's for a family i suppose yeah yeah oh for a family nice and uh, of course yeah they have the ceiling fan which is the most important part of and this is the paradise for uh, you know uh, which is my bachelor bachelor yeah so if you know where to throw a party on an economic scale yeah. this is the place i suppose just for that because i mean i don't see a lot of family who are coming here yeah so mostly here, i mean if you so stay in the space only for bachelors <laughs> I mean, I, I can make a little bit character. <laughs> you can see them all. Yes, if you see that people are there, but uh, yeah. Oh, I see them coming in families. Families, yeah. We also can see that they have single private rooms, similar to that we were seated on the first floor. The waiter has come now to take our order, which is special. Chicken or what? Chicken? Goat bar. Goat bar. Okay. <laughs> cautious by meeting yeah so how is it jilesh it is yum thank you bharat guys i am smiling yeah man this is very is try chicken barbado at vetis no it is very really different yeah from definitely definitely wow you see the masala is too it's nicely uh, into the chicken i suppose but they marinated it well you are getting in and so Yeah. What is this? Rasam. Oh, yeah. This is the. Yeah. Oh, they give rasam here. Yeah. Ah. Most of the dawa is served. Oh, that's nice. The first time I'm seeing people give rasam. But actually, most of the dawa is give rasam. Yes. yes. Now they're. Uh, that's their recipe. Oh. Really good. What I'm tasting right now? Uh, chicken. Good bye. Uh huh. Good bye. A little tangy. Uh, not very really spicy, not much spicy actually. I mean, I think it complements well with the beer. With the beer, yeah. And uh, I forgot to introduce one, one more thing actually. Yeah, this is the rasam. Rasam, what has come? The pepper, pepper, tani. That it's more. I mean, bland. I mean, I feel there is a broth. <laughs> yeah, it looks like a broth actually to me. Should I taste it? Let me, let me try. Wow, so good flavor. Wow. You don't find the essence of pepper coming out of it, but the, I mean, I think it's tamarind. 
and it's a mix of everything actually, but uh, it's good, it's good, it's really good. Okay. Especially, I mean, if you do have a fever or a cold or a sore throat, this so is well. something what we can try. All these people eating over here, I'm like super hungry. <laughs> I better start giving my review and start eating my food. <laughs> I like they firstly they gave this and what is this called actually? It's called Areka Place. Areka. Areka Place. It's a very good eco-friendly place. So firstly I'm going to try the chicken burger. And it is piping hot. I know how I'm going to eat it, but it is. I'm going to taste it. It's served on a sislo. The masala oh, yeah. is really great. The onions, the pepper. I mean. It's tasting really great. Oh man, I when I try this out, <laughs> I'm taking a. So you let's hear it from Jerry. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. okay. And now we hear it from the horse mouth. Go ahead. Yeah. This is actually fried with uh, curry leaves and uh, it is piping hot, obviously. So let me taste it. Ow. Mmm. Mm. Nice. Juicy. Tender chicken. Masala is really special. Please take some. And <laughs> especially curry leaves. The taste of curry leaves come. There's such a distinct flavor of curry leaves into this. I'm amazing. Especially love the masalas. I'm a person who just wants for masala. This complemented with a good bottle of beer. Yummy. Well, we forgot to take one more person's review. I mean, the person who bought us here. Yeah, the person who bought us here. <laughs> <laughs> He's already, I mean, it's only the board's one is from me. <laughs> Why don't and, just enjoy the fun? And one more thing I want to try is the vessel. I just stirred it a bit. Actually, it is like this. It's a broth. As Richie told it's a broth. But it tastes like a vessel. Tamarind. <laughs> <laughs> I think they add a little dash of lemon also in this. There is, there is a lot, I mean, yeah. I, I feel the mixture of many things. Mm, but, but it's so good. You know, it doesn't look like resin, but it tastes like mm. one. It's more like a broth. Broth. But it's a little spicy, tangy broth. But in boy, actually, you have to not eat anything before coming here. You just come here, have the food, and then taste it. It will really relish it. What a food, what a taste. We made the first food that or the first dish that we ordered, the starters, very tasty, along with the basically they even added garlic to their fried onions, garlic, everything together and they made the scissors. But super tasty. Enjoyed it. Actually well, enjoyed it. It's time we dig into it. Yes. Until <laughs> yes. we get the second dish. <laughs> <laughs> so see ya during the second dish. <laughs> Guys. See this, this is a full plate of grilled chicken and this is a half plate. When, whenever you come to this place, be sure to order a half plate first. because first, <laughs> first. <laughs> absolutely and it is like whoa, this is huge, this is huge and this one coupled with uh, this onions which is with masala onions and with some, uh, you find the lemon along with the chutney. This is a green chutney. Thank you. I just took a little pinch of that. <laughs> it is fire? Oh, yeah. huh? It's not fire, it's, it's completely a different chutney. Oh. Wow. So I think we need to check this fellow out. He looks really tempting. Red hot this fiery. Is, and he's telling uh, fiery. Yeah, I know. Uh, red hot the, fiery. I'll be trying the red hot fiery. fiery. Yes. <laughs> Whoa. 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 Bless me. Yes. And the masala. Woo. So, I'll, I'll be able to. Hold on, hold on. Yes. You've got to try it with the chocolate. So, here, here goes the lemon. Yeah, I think the lemon. Dash of lemon. Dash of lemon. <laughs> and a little bit of chocolate. Uh, don't put it on the top. Just be careful, it's a bit spicy. So just put it on like a... The guy, just how Richie had this and it's pretty spicy. It's not spicy, but... Yeah. 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 Wow. You're kind of expressionless or you just have no, no words to say. I'm, I'm, I'm relishing it. I love the tangy bit which uh, it's a because citrus the, thing right yeah. and the pudina chutney is it's, uh, really uh, spicy.
Oh, it's fiery. It's fiery, and uh, it all comes together, you know, the flavor. But this is a very great chutney. I really like it. I mean, I've had the dinner chutney in the past. It's more green, is I mean, even the color is actually, I mean, very much. <laughs> this <laughs> is fire. This it looks like the full brownish. Damn. I think they've not added any color to it. Yeah, um, yes, it's the same. No, I, I don't think they've added more of Viva to it. That's what I feel actually. They have kept more of other flavors in it. Oh. So I don't know what else is mixed in it, but the taste is amazing. Nice. And I've had, I've had uh, grilled chicken uh, at uh, many places, but this is the best I tell you. Uh, the taste, the tenderness of the chicken, perfect. Oh, oh, oh. Fan of yeah, <laughs> he's a fan. Oh, you're more with the best. <laughs> Whoa, we have oh, another guy coming through. Now that's a fish fry. Yeah. So, there's a third one. The Angel fish fry is a pumpkin yeah. fish fry, right? I don't know that I'm a seafood lover. Yeah, he's a, really a seafood lover. And let's go and taste it. I'm going to eat it. Hold on. <laughs> I mean, uh, first let's try the grilled chicken. How is it, Richie? I have not tasted it very much. This is not a Give me a review of it, too. Good one. Oh. Again. Delish. It's fiery. Oh. Okay. Super. I've tasted better grilled chickens, yes, very much. But the chutney, whatever you have, it, you dip it into it and then take it into your mouth. That's something actually, I mean, it's more of a different flavor I've experienced. Yeah. <laughs> Let's watch. Let's hear it from today's audience. Yes. Yeah, too much of masala on it. But like Richie uh, stated, uh, you know, it's a little chutney So you have to add it with the chutney and then you give me a review. It's, but be careful. I would totally agree with what Richie said. It is really amazing, the chutney. I definitely try for sure. Please do come. And enjoy it. Super duper. Now I'm really hungry and I want to taste the chicken. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so I'm going to take that little I'm not a person with a lover of bones, so I think. Uh, yeah, each people do have uh, different uh, preference, uh, <laughs> preferences. Uh, Even Jilesh is more like, I mean, he don't prefer bones. bones and, yeah, he's more, he, uh, he would like to go with bro boneless chicken. <laughs> Jerry is also almost, I'm a big fan of bones actually, so I'm, I'm more into wings. And Bharat is more in, you can see him. Uh, yeah, he, he's looking at the to the left. <laughs> he's clean to come. Yeah. Okay. So, um, I have kind of very tempted and I really want to have this chicken. Now it's, I've taken the tender part of this chicken and it is filled with masala, nicely grilled with the exterior. If you see the exterior is nicely, what is it, masala is just filled with the exterior, nicely grilled. Also you see the interior part of this also, if you see the interior part of this, you see the masala is nicely filled into it. Wow. I'm going to taste it with the spicy chutney. Of course, I have bad tolerance for spice. <laughs> I don't want to go. Good luck, Jerry. Break a leg. <laughs> oh, my. But I love spices too. This the pungent first thing which Kirk gave is I did the part which had the spices. The chutney part which is mixed for the, the chicken, the pungent taste of the spices which was really clean taste. Yeah. Then comes the masalas mixing up with the tender chicken, nice and soft and juicy chicken, amazing, love it. Better. Even though you have a less tolerance for spice, be sure to taste it along with the spice and the chicken. Then you're going to use it. So now we have got our anchor fish fry. It's just one solid fish that they have marinated and then kept. Now, this is her. If you see this, this has lemon along with capsicum, masalas mixed with onions. So, I'm going to squeeze this batch of lemon onto the fish fry. So, and then I'm going to taste it. Whoa. 
This actually has a center bone. I think this is a pound print. Uh, that's not pound print, that's angels. Uh, seal fish? Seal fish, yeah. Okay, so this is a seal fish in English. Angel is seal fish. And if you see the masalas over here, it's nicely spread on top and uh, the bottom apart. And let me taste it. Mm. Because of the lime, the first taste that came, comes into the mouth is lemon flavor along with the masalas, nice, soft, dry, tender, chicken, uh, fish trim. So it's a very tasty angel fish fry. Definitely should try this too as you come here. The cost just came to 1215 rupees. Wow, this is really value for money. Yeah, this is including the drinks, it came to only 1875 rupees. Three Budweiser beers, that's it. Really value for money. You should definitely come to this place. If you have major parties, you want it to be an economy mode, do come here though. Also, I want to tell you that. Uh, that the one thing as a negative, uh, I cannot say it's a negative uh, feedback, but they use a lot of food color. So just be a little mindful of that. And a little oily also. See, if you see the food color, I I wash my hands with tissue paper, but then also the food coloring is there. But if they can reduce the food coloring, that will be really helpful. So oh, this is the bar, also the lodging also here. Wow, this is the place for pudding as well as the lodging. It seems the cost of the room rent is from 1000 rupees onwards to 2000 rupees. And uh, 2000 rupees is for a family of 4 people and all. But it's only just uh, for staying. There's no food and other amenities provided. How was your experience on this Bharat? It was amazing. This, this is my second time. Uh, I would love to come back again and try uh, new dishes. Superb, superb. And actually, thanks to you, you have just told us a good place. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hope it helps. Uh, so for your subscribers to come and you know enjoy uh, such value for uh, for money you know, uh, dishes. Absolutely, thank you, thanks, Bharat. And Jilesh, what's your uh, take on this? Uh, definitely uh, a very nice place to hang out with your friends uh, with a couple of beers and chicken and everything that tastes uh, great. It was really amazing, uh, and also the fact that you are away from city and you are getting you are getting to breathe some fresh air here, right? It's kind of nice. So definitely yes, I would tell all of you if you want to have a break from your city life, get your friends along, drive to this place and enjoy this amazing food. Thank you. What was our experience? Well, it was <laughs> one of a kind. I would say, I mean, I never expected the bill to be this cheap, man. <laughs> what do you think, Jerry? So I mean, this was like literally getting it for, I mean, value, yeah, value we only money. had the starters, it was filling. I don't know if there was caustic on in the foot of what but I mean I don't think so actually because I mean keeping it this cheap and then again trying to uh, fake with the foot actually I mean I'm not I don't think they would be getting any kind of a profit when it comes to I mean making us spend uh, so cheap yeah. cheap actually this it was. was literally cheap what I would say actually I mean we kind of enjoy the foot too but yes it's a little bit spicy but uh, the food, I mean, it's quite a variety. I mean, it's something which I have uh, kind of, I mean, uh, tasted for the first time. Certain, uh, at least one of those dishes, actually. I've tasted it for the first time. And it, when it comes to even the grilled chicken, it's completely a different, unique taste what is coming. It's not the same yeah, thing. Not, not the same thing. Yeah, yeah. We have tasted always, actually. I mean, uh, it's, yeah, I mean, it's good. good. I mean, I'd say actually yeah. it's good. Quite a change. I mean, especially for the drinks and everything, what you're having, this is really worth. So, so uh, <laughs> I expect I love the resum also. I've never seen. Yeah, uh, resum is something very nice. It's it was. more like that. I mean, Gouda's restaurant in Bengaluru or Karnataka. What serves the resum actually? This was not more of a. I mean, yes, there was pepper essence involved in this, 
but uh, you don't find that. I mean, the texture of the resin was completely different. So this is more of the complimentary thing what you get over here. Right? What is it? It was complimentary. Yeah, complimentary. Oh, yeah. oh, they didn't. Judge they it. don't add it to the build actually. Really so good. That, uh, most of the dabas in Bang uh, in Bangalore they provide this kind of thing. So uh, yeah, that's what I got to say actually. The food was good, cheap, and one of the best places for everyone to hang out it's more on the outskirts of bangalore actually so there is no less crowd there is crowd there's a lot, there is of, crowd lot of crowd actually <laughs> idle, idle I mean. time is this avoid the weekends exactly do avoid the weekends <laughs> weekends i, know, I don't think good there much from the crowd. city <laughs> that's what i loved it all right so yeah. that is from my side oh if you love this video do share your comments thoughts and suggestions on this video Okay. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel too. And until the next week, take care, see you soon. Bye bye. Woo! <laughs>